yeah we just like we appreciate everybody tuning in and hope that uh if you do view it hey hit the like hit the subscribe and share it with your, your friends and family we're going to be keep putting out content throughout the year tines and trails outdoors One in the baby, one in the morning. What? Patience underway. <laughs> What's happening? We just got in. Well, about oh. ten minutes ago. I didn't see a fucking tiny deer, man. We did. I almost hit one. When I was when I was coming through, I saw one doe. <laughs> oh, good to see you, Coach Stein. I think I just blew my groin out hugging you. <laughs> they make a they make a 750 one that's a little more powerful. Not good. <laughs> Got a knee injury in camp. He's listed yeah. on IR as questionable. <laughs> <laughs> Had to take his helmet yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a sweatshirt and I'm a boogie. Good luck, boys. We're heading out. Good luck. All right. Snaker get it here. I saw two tiny does. And that was it. I don't think anybody else has done any any better. It's uh temperatures are rising. It was a real humid, muggy day to start out. As you probably could see in my video, if, it, if I show it, it'll show a fog over the field, and yeah, it's finally moved out, but it's. Probably good that it's clouded over, it'd be a lot hotter than what it is now. Deer movement has been really slow. There's been some good and some really bad hunts. So today I don't I think I might be the only one that saw something out of four people. Not good. Um, prior to this, we pulled cards and cards look great. Yep, we'll wait and see what Snake has. I he didn't tell me he's seen anything. I think Stein and Baker are already out of the tree. Probably in some case he's grabbing a coffee and a donut. Alright. Here we are. November 6th, it's pushing 70 degrees out here in Missouri. And, uh, yep, feels like I'm back in Indiana, third week of October, joking around with the snake. People are gonna start thinking we're reusing video footage, but we're not. This is actually Missouri on November 6th. I think it's 72 today. It's supposed to be 72 tomorrow. There's no wind. Hunting what we call Moe's Tavern. It's a new stand, but Snake hunted it a couple days ago and actually saw some deer out of it. I think he saw 12, 15, most of them from a distance, but.
because he could, he had a pretty good visual of this area. So he just went back to the west of me. And then shortly after, um, an eight point came in that I got on camera. He come down the middle. There's two ponds here, and, uh, and he made his way just, just behind me. I didn't really mess with him too much. I wasn't gonna shoot him. He's a nice buck, young buck. We'll uh, see what he comes, what he becomes next year. But Coach Dines with me down this property. He's up in the Moe's Tavern where I hunted last night. So. Much from him. Snake saw a nice eight point this morning already, and I think old BDB, he's, uh, he's seen a buck or two, or at least seen a deer. good at making things in cluster bucks. So grab my saddle or my platform and sticks. One key component I forgot. Back of the truck. The, the freaking saddle. So I had to run back and grab that after I got out and trim some lanes. I'm not sure if this is the tree snake was talking about, but I kind of like it. sits here. I've had one and it was really good. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we've seen deer.
deer chasing as we're driving out. So we're hoping that uh, one maybe chases a doe by us here, or a doe leads one to us. Um, this morning's hunt was awesome. It's my best hunt by far here. It's been a pretty lackluster in terms of deer sightings and just the trip in general um, for deer sightings and just the broad activity that we've seen over the course of four guys. But I think the reality of this, what's what we're trying to deliver is hunting's not easy. So for any of you beginners that are just starting out or you know, young young hunters, it's not easy. It's a grind. You're gonna, it's gonna kick you when you're down. You just gotta keep going and you gotta let that motivate you to get back out in the woods and, and keep trying and, and scouting and doing your reading, your research on deer behavior, what's some of the good food plots to put in, um, how to read topo maps, all that other, you know, all the stuff that goes into to trying to outsmart these very smart animals, especially the mature ones. Yeah, we'll see what this evening brings. All it takes is one one hunt to change it all.